Hello everyone, welcome to our new video. Our GA4 series is going on. If you want to watch the whole series, you can come to our channel and watch those videos from here. Okay, so in today's lecture, we'll be discussing about monetization reports in GA4. So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, let's get to know what is monetization reports, you know. So you can see over here, your GA4 monetization report is arguably the most essential report in your analytics property. This report tells you all about your revenue and how you are making sales and it lets you quantify your conversions in real terms. Okay, so let's see how we can see monetization reports from GA4 dashboard and how we can analyze those data, you know. So you can see over here, I am one of the GA4 properties of one of my clients, you know. So I'm in the monetization section. So we have a couple of options available here like overview, e-commerce purchases, user purchase journey, in-app purchases, purchase ads and promotions. So let's get to know uh, one by one about them. So if I click on overview section, then you can see over here, we are seeing last 12 months data. So if you want, you can customize the date frames. Like if you want to see the data for last seven days or last 28 days or even last 30 days or last 90 days or last 12 months so you can go through this option and customize these date trends as per your requirements you know so for me i'll keep it as last 12 months so in last 12 months we have a total revenue of 5.1k and in between them purchase revenue is also 5.1k because we didn't get any total ad revenue you know and you can see over here total purchasers is 148 and first time purchasers is also 148 okay and average purchase revenue per user is one dollar and sixty cent and you can see over here item purchased by item name so you can see uh, the item name of the purchase items you know so you can see over here this item has been purchased for 102 times this one almond shop uh, has been purchased for 35 times this one has been purchased for 18 times carbonate shop 13 times so you can see the purchase data uh, according to item name you know so you can see over here items purchased by item list name so uh, according to item list name we can see the item purchase data like uh, this item list name has uh, been purchased 14 times collection dot uh, collection slash all this item name has been purchased for four time this one has been two time and this one has been purchased for one time you know and if i Go to the right portion then you can see over here by purchase revenue by order coupon so we are using coupons for these two items so you can see over here uh, this item uh, uh, has been uh, we have used coupon in those items and their value purchase value or revenue is available here okay perfect then you can see what is your revenue from in-app purchase product revenue by product id so currently it is showing no data you know similarly for purchase ad impression it is showing no data for the time being so if i go to the e-commerce purchases section you know so just wait a little bit you can see uh, items viewed by item name over time so we're seeing the item name you know so those item names has been uh, viewed those amount of times it has been added to the card this amount of time uh, it has been purchased this uh, this number of times you know item revenue is also available so if i sort it by item revenue then you can see over here this almond shop uh, has been viewed uh, for 61 times and it has been added to the cart for 40 times and it has been purchased for 35 times and the item revenue was uh, 210 dollar you know so you can see all the item names available here and how many times they have been viewed they have been added to the cart and how many times they have been purchased and what is their item revenue 
you know so you can customize this dimensions if you want to choose it like if you want to see the data according to item id item category item brand so you can uh, use those options as per your requirement for example if i choose item id from here then we'll be seeing the data uh, according to item id you know so you can see over here so i'm gonna uh, go to the item name section and if you want to choose any secondary dimension from here you can do it as well so if i click on this plus button then if i go to the geographic section and i to see the country wise data of this purchase products or purchase items so i'm gonna click on country then you can see over here this item has been viewed from uh, this country 40 times and it has been added to cart for 22 times it has been purchased for 27 times from this country from usa this has uh, this item has been uh, uh purchased for two times so puerto rico okay so you can customize those dimensions according to your requirements okay so if i go to the user purchase journey section then you can see over here we have a closed funnel available here like uh, the e-commerce funnel open user like when a user come to our website then a session is start then how many times those user view uh, viewed our product then added the product to the cart go to the begin checkout page and how many times they have purchased the product so this is the total e-commerce journey open user you can see over here so we can see uh, it is showing the data by default uh dimension is device category so if you want you can customize the dimension you know so you can select either device category country region city language browser so you can go through these options and customize those options as per your requirements okay perfect then if i go to the in-app purchases section then if you have a mobile app and you have uh, created a data stream for mobile app then you will be able to see in-app purchases data so for the time being i don't have uh, any mobile app that has been connected to my google analytics that's why it is not showing uh, any data you know so if i go to the publisher ads so let's get to know what is publisher ads so if i go to the official documentation of ga4 then you can see over here the publisher ads report shows you each advertisement you include in your app and the engagement and revenue associated with each advertisement you know so you can learn more about publisher ads report from this doc file okay so if i go to the promotion section then you can see over here so in the publisher ads we don't have any uh, uh data available right now because we are not using it you know so if i go to the promotion section so let's get to know what is promotion so if i go to the uh, ga4 official documentation then you will get to know about promotion report so the promotion report shows the impact of each promotion on purchases and revenue a promotion is a way of encouraging users to buy a product or service through an incentive Example of incentives include a discount on products or service or on shipping. Promotion are often advertised on a website's homepage or in product catalogs. So if you are using promotions or discounts, then uh, you can see the promotion wise data from here, you know. So you can see over here item promotion name. So it has not been set. Item viewed promotion, item clicked to promotion item promotion click through that item added to cart so now for some of the products we have used promotion or coupon that's why it has been added to cart for 316 times and you can see over here it has been purchased for 338 times you know and the total item revenue is uh 1.4k okay so you can uh, get the idea of how promotion reports works in ga4 so i'm gonna share this doc file in the video description so that you can get a holistic idea about promotion reports in ga4 you know
and yeah hopefully you have a clear understanding on monetization reports on google ads yeah that's it for this video if you like our video then you can subscribe our channel follow our page you have a good day bye bye